Well, refractive surgery and cataract surgery, while different, are increasingly similar because the goals to eliminate or reduce the need for spectacles and contact lenses have recently increased among the population. Cataract refers to a medical condition where there is a gradual opacification of the normally clear lens inside the eye that helps focus rays of light onto the retina. This normal medical condition, which increases in likelihood with age, requires surgery in a high percentage of patients in their lifetime. We now can combine refractive cataract procedures to help those patients undergoing cataract surgery reduce the likelihood or in some cases eliminate the need for spectacles and contact lenses with a number of techniques. In cataract surgery, the opacified or cloudy lens is removed and a replacement lens is placed inside the eye to assist focusing of the rays of light onto the retina. We now have a number of expanded choices of intraocular lens implants that can increasingly provide an expanded spectrum of vision with extended focus to allow patients a range of vision without the need for glasses or contact lenses. This is an exciting time in intraocular lens implants as the U.S. Food and Drug Administration is now providing an expedited review of extended focus intraocular lens implants. Corneal surgery has literally undergone a revolution with advances since the first corneal transplant performed a century ago. We now are able to selectively replace certain parts of the cornea depending on the disease process such that a full corneal transplant is not always required for an individual. Selective keratoplasty now allows even replacement of individual cells of the cornea to rejuvenate the function of the cornea in a person's lifetime.